All right. So I'm sure by now you have heard. You've heard the word. Bird is the word. No, not really. Uh, the Apple iTunes, Apple Podcasts app, the people at Apple, the wonderful people of Apple, the people that we don't like at Apple, <laughs> and all that in between, they have updated their categories. And I'm going to run through them. And if you want to go to the show notes, there's going to be screenshots of the categories just to make life easier for you. So this episode is going to be for you if you uh, have a podcast already or you are just trying to figure out this whole thing and figure out where your where does your podcast fit. I think this this is really good for the industry because uh, be back in the day, the old, uh, the way they would categorize things was really effed up. I mean, it was really like, it just looked like a half half baked job. Like there was, there was marketing and management. So if you were just a marketing show and you didn't talk anything about management, you got thrown into the marketing and management. Um, they've done away with that. If you were a sports show, maybe talking about a specific sport, they usually didn't have you named and listed. Now they have a lot of different sports listed, so you can be very specific to what you're looking for. Um, if you were in society and culture, if you had like more of a personal brand. It was very hard to put yourself in a – usually you had to put yourself in personal journals, and that's a weird category. Like no one no one reads someone else's journal. It's kind of weird. Um, and this is an audio. There's no reading in this shit. So, yeah, I mean there's a lot more here. They they have something called the leisure, uh, leisure uh, category now, which I'm reading now. It has a whole bunch of stuff like arts, crafts, games, aviation, automotive, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they have a history, a government section. I think history and government was once before together. Um, I mean, they've got a lot of stuff. We're going to read through it today, and it's going to help you out uh, to figure out where you be, where you can be. And also, I think this is going to help you niche down and really dominate a category too. Because uh, one of the things we, we help our clients with is, is is really getting figuring out like what's the the unique the unique podcasting angle. So, what is the the specific thing that makes your show better and different? Um, and the number one in this category. And uh, that is super important in today's competitive market. It's only going to get more competitive. So I suggest you figure that out, figure out what category you want to dominate and then double down on that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So number one, this is the big, this is the main category. And then we're going to go into the sub categories here. So the first one here is arts. And underneath arts, there are one, two, three, four, five. There's six different types of arts. And funny enough, food is one of them. So food is an art, people. Who would have known? So underneath arts, you have books, design, fashion and beauty, food, and or performing arts, and visual arts. I don't know if visual arts would be the best for a podcast, but how about it? <laughs> I won't be in that category. Okay, next is business. This is the main category, business. And underneath it, there are six subcategories, which I think... They've done a much, much, much better job at, at categorizing these now as opposed to where they were before. So underneath business, you have careers, entrepreneurship, investing, management, marketing, and nonprofit. So I know I can tell you already we're going to have to do some restructuring with our with some of our uh, our clients, but it's all good. Uh, I know this is going to get probably going to get rolled out from what I've heard in the fall, so I'm not overly uh you know hesitant or, or rushed to do this kind of stuff because i think there may be some changes still on the way this may or may not be the, the official uh maybe they add one or two but who knows so next is comedy and there's three different comedy sections which i think is really good because comedy is such a huge section needs to be broken up a little bit more so underneath comedy you have con underneath comedy you have comedy interviews you have improv stand up and stand up so three three of them right there so interviews Comedy interview, sorry, improv, and stand up. So that's much better in terms of for, for the comedy section because it's such a massive category. Uh, I, I would even think they probably they could probably split it down even more. But those three are much better than what they had before. Next, we have education. And education, there are four levels, and I actually really like these these the way they've categorized this. Um, you know, you've got courses, so actual I guess courses, more of like you know. Uh, seasonal based type of things where it's it goes in the sequence you have how to you have le uh, language learning which i think is awesome because there's a lot of big language podcasts uh, and you have self-improvement as well self-improvement so a lot of the personal development stuff i think will go under there that'll be a great category lots of great stuff in it 
Next, after education, you have fiction. And in fiction, there are three different subcategories. There's comedy fiction, drama, and science fiction. I can already tell you the science fiction is going to be a pretty crazy category. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the next two, actually, don't have any subcategories, but they're good ones anyways. So you have government, and there's, like I said, there's no subcategories. And then you have history, which are, there are no subcategories. So government history, two big, massive topics, and very, very deep topics that have, some, have a lot of popular shows in them. So government or history, no subcategories, but they split those two up now, and uh, I think they will be much better on their own uh, and just easier for people to find good shows in those categories next you have health and fitness health and fitness there are now six i believe yep six different categories you have alternative health you have fitness you have medicine you have mental health nutrition and sexuality great topics there i think that makes life a lot easier i've had trouble in the past with clients where it's like they do health and business or they do they do fitness and something else and it's like uh which where, where we put them do we put them here? Do we put them there? So this makes life a lot easier. So thank you, Apple. Next, kids and family. So kids and family, I can tell you some stories about this. So in, in the past, kids and family had some rather vulgar uh, <laughs> or just very, very graphic uh, descripting podcast there that maybe you're, maybe shouldn't be for kids. So I'm glad they've done some different things here with the uh, – with this category to make things a little bit easier for parents navigating this, right? So underneath kids and family, you have education for kids, you have parenting, you have pets and animals, and you have stories for kids. So much better, much easier. I think a lot of people will help, will benefit from this as well. Next, leisure. Leisure is like hobbies. Even though that, to me, leisure, it sounds like these are all hobbies, but actually hobbies is one of the subcategories, so I guess it can't be. But underneath leisure, you have animation and magna and manga, which I don't know what that is. You have automotive, you have aviation, you have crafts, you have games, hobbies, uh, home and garden, and then video games. So a lot more specific now, uh, a lot better because there's lots of podcasts getting lost out there, I believe, that are just miscategorized. So this will help a lot of people. Um, interested to see what the video game one is like to be honest with you but we'll see okay next music music there are three different types number one music commentary number two music history and number three music interviews <clears throat> for me i'd like the music interviews the most probably out of those hearing famous people talk about the music they built or they created and why they created it so personal fun fact for you next we have business Business is a behemoth of a category. It is almost as big as a sports category. But for sports, we have, or sorry, no, for uh, for news, we have for news. For news, we have business news, subcategory number one, daily news, uh, entertainment news, news commentary, politics, sports news, and tech news. So these are all things that are not evergreen. These are all channels that you watch in in one day or the day they come out and then their back end in this scenario goes really flat. So it's a bit of a um, constant burning machine because you have to constantly keep on putting out new news, new news, new news because nothing really gets recycled because uh, it's just uh, you know it's time bound type of stuff. So keep that in mind if you're going to build a new show. You have to keep on producing more and more content, finding more and more shows, finding more people that are doing awesome stuff. So that's that. Uh, next, religion and spirituality. There are seven, each for each distinct, different uh, religion. Oh, here we go. Except for one, which I don't know what to think of it. But you'll hear it in a second. Number one for religion and spirituality is Buddhism. Number two is Christianity. Number three is Hinduism. Number four is Islam. Five is Judaism. Six is religion. Don't understand that. And seven is spirituality. So there we go. Next, science. Science is uh, quite a large topic. It's got one, two, three, four, I think it's eight different uh, topics underneath it. 
So any science you have astronomy, chemistry, earth sciences, uh, life sciences, mathematics, natural, natural sciences, nature, physics, and social economics. All right, moving forward, society and culture. Okay, so society and culture, you have five new ones. You have documentary, personal journals, philosophy, places and travel, and relationships. Number or number one. Next one is sports. And sports is the biggest category. It's got like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's got 14 different subcategories. So here they go. They're all different sports. Underneath sports, you have baseball, basketball, cricket, fantasy sports, golf, uh, football, hockey, rugby, running, soccer, swimming, tennis, and wrestling. Oh, sorry, and volleyball and wilderness. Yeah, yeah, tennis, volleyball, wilderness, and wrestling. So tons there to pick from. It's going to help people really niche down and really dominate what they're good at. So I think that's amazing. All right, last three, you have technology, no subcategories. True crime, no subcategories. And then last but not least, you have TV and film, which is after shows, uh, film history, film interviews, and film reviews, and TV series. There we have it, my friend. That is it. Those are the new updated categories. Like I said, pictures will be in the show notes. And if you're in the Facebook group, I will definitely post them there as well. And thank you so much for listening. I will catch you later. Have an awesome Monday. Keep crushing it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. And I want to turn this into a personal (laughs) development thing. But anyways, crush it. Go for it. Make sure you use these new categories and dominate a specific niche. And I'll catch you later. Hey, and don't forget, I have a number of free bonuses for you. That's, yes, these are free templates, guides, and stuff that I've actually included in my recent book, How to Get Your First 100,000 Downloads in 100 Days. But you don't even have to buy the book. I'm just going to give this to you for free. All you have to do is go to Louis Ryan, Louis Ryan, L-U-I-S-R-Y-A-N, dot com forward slash book. There is a simple form where you fill out your name and your email and you get a ton of free stuff, all the templates and guides that I included in the book, but you don't have to buy the book. So you're saving yourself a chunk of money um, that literally will take you probably less than two minutes to accomplish or perform. So enjoy that. That's my gift to you. Use it. Don't just let it fall by the wayside and I'll see you on the next episode.